We're about halfway through the section. So in theory, we're getting to harder questions. But how the SAT makes the questions harder depends. Sometimes it's hard because it's tricky. Sometimes it's hard because it's tedious. The math is kind of, you know, time consuming. This is hard only because most of you are just going to panic and think that this story is more complicated than it is. This is really easy. One side of a flat board has an area of 874 square inches. If a pressure of 19 pounds per square inch of area is exerted on this side of the board, what is the total force in pounds exerted on this side of the board? This is just multiplication. So it's 874 square inches. And then for each of those square inches, 19 pounds of pressure are being put on there. So for each inch, that's 19 pounds. So it's just multiplication. Grab the calculator. 874 times 19 is a weird number, 16606, but that's the answer. There's nothing to be done here. So some of you are just going to panic. I, if you Maybe I'll try another explanation just to kind of maybe like make you more confident that this is the right thing to do. In a way, this question kind of reminds me of ratios, of unit conversion questions. So my way of dealing with that is make a chart and list your rates. So I have a rate right here. Now normally when we have a rate, it has two numbers. And so this is only one, but nah, not really because 19 pounds is one of our numbers per square inch, per one square inch, so one inch squared. And we use this method, what we're trying to do is eliminate all of the units. That's how we'll know we're, we're probably done with the question. And in order to eliminate a unit, we need the same unit on the left side and on the right side. So 874 square inches, I'm gonna put that on this side because if I have inches squared here and here, they cross out. So now what do I need? Well, I need pounds and look at what the question is asking, right? Um, what is the total force in pounds, right? So my X is my pounds. So that's it, there's nothing else to do. So maybe now I have a little bit more confidence that I've gotten all the pieces of this puzzle. There aren't many, but because the units cancel out, like I have a little bit more certainty that I've done the right thing and there's nothing else to do, I, I don't know. The final way to kind of deal with this is you just multiply down the columns. So 19 times 874, we just did that, 16606 and one times X is X, and then this is just an equation. Sometimes we have to solve that equation because there's multiple numbers, but here it just X equals 1606. That's, that's it, that's the end of the line. So I don't know if that helps. I don't think it's necessary, but I get why some of you are going to be very suspicious that for a number 14 out of the 22 in this section, the hard module, we're just multiplying two numbers. That feels too easy. But I understand why it, it, it's harder is that the question is just the units are weird, the way they're talking about it is weird, and so some of you are just going to get intimidated and maybe quit or do way more work because you're overthinking it. So I don't know. Maybe the units thing helps, but uh, I, it, it just goes to show sometimes it's hard to read a question, but the math involves really easy. So just know that those questions exist, I guess.